Recording in progress. Assalamu alaikum. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول حيا على صلاة حيا على صلاة حيا على الفلا حيا على الفلا الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا
Assalamualaikum. Audhu bilahi mina shaitani rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil ailameen. Nasta'inahu wa nasta'firahu wa nubinu bihim azawajal. Ashadu ala ilaha idallahu wa ahtuhu la shurika lahu wa shadu. Anna Muhammad an abduhu wa rasuluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ala alihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Ayyuhal muslimun. That is God's peace be on you. I seek refuge in God from Satan, uh, the rejected enemy. With God's name, the merciful benefactor, the, the merciful redeemer, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all the systems of knowledge. We seek his assistance and we ask his forgiveness. And it is in Allah alone that we put our trust. I bear witness that there is no uh, deity but Allah alone having no partners or associates in his creation. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon Prophet Muhammad and his companions and what follows that uh, great salutation. And on you, O Muslims, be peace. On this occasion um, of uh, Eid al-Adha, we, we are fastly approaching uh, Eid al-Adha, the celebration of the sacrifice of Prophet Ibrahim. Uh, we, we, we gather to remember Prophet Ibrahim's loyalty and obedience to Allah above everything in creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested Prophet Ibrahim with numerous trials and tribulations, and, but his faith never faltered. Allah tested Prophet Ibrahim's faith when he was uh, directed by Allah to leave his wife Hajjah and son Ismail in the, in the desert. Allah tested um, Prophet Ibrahim uh, when, uh, when he directed him to sacrifice his son. And, uh, and Ishmael also agreed that if it was the command of Allah, then both of them, father and son, must obey. And then in the last minute, Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Prophet Ibrahim to sacrifice a sheep instead of his son. Allah said to Ibrahim, it's not your uh, blood sacrifice that reaches me. It's your piety. Your reverence for God. Yeah. Your, your devotion to God's word. Uh, Quran Kareem, the book. Th that's, that's what the sacrifice is about. Your reverence for God. And if we remember God in many of the situations we see today, and if we, would think, if we could think on a criterion, many people don't have a criterion, but we think on the Quran, and then we think on it before we, we act. We don't react, we respond. Respond requires thinking. I think, and then I act. If many people do that, we wouldn't have a lot of situations we have today. Too many reacting, reactions versus responses. Uh, <clears throat> the Muslim, the Muslim is obedient. Th this Muslim is obedient. Now, I'm pointing to my body. <laughs> the earth is Muslim. Uh, the air is Muslim. Everything, it, you know, it, 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 it doesn't have free will. Matter of fact, I, I can make my body do things that you know, I, I, uh, uh, people who imbibe have been in, previous, in our previous life know that when we took that first drink of alcohol, we, 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 like throwing up, or we smoked that first cigarette, we coughed. Well, that's the Muslim in us telling it doesn't belong here. But it being Muslim and Allah. Uh, having to follow this spirit, you can make your body do all kinds of things. And that's when we get in problems because we come out of order. It obeys God and it would not 
of its own accord come out of its fitra, its natural order. All of our physical hearts and uh, in the human beings function the same way. Our lungs, the digestive system, excuse me, digestive system, eyes, bones, muscles function the same way. By Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, your organs and the body don't have this free will, but your soul that directs this body does. And a misguided soul can cause a lot of pain, suffering, and stress on our personal, family, and community life. And because the soul is out of the order of the word of God, and sadly, we witness this on a daily basis, we as a society witness chaos and mayhem. The unnatural forces and the, the uh, uh, unnatural words have uh, supersaturated this uh, artificial, insane environment, and the great majority of the family of Adam are living their lives in, uh, to the extent that abnormal is normal and normal it's abnormal. The light of this world is darkness, so die to the light of this world that you may live. That's the choice. We, we, we're not going to follow the world. We're going we're gonna to submit to Allah's will. We must exercise the courage to sacrifice that which is not pleasing to God. That's a sacrifice we also make. You, you can't have the peace that only God can give in Pharaoh's house. For us who are free, we have solved that problem and passed uh, that test. And people in the community can see a beautiful light on our face, our character. Ina Ibrahim can... Uh, Uswatan Hasana or Umatan Umatan Ka Batila. Indeed, Ibrahim was a community obedient to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And because of his, his, uh, his piety and the devotion of God, he was able to connect with God's creation and read the message of, uh, from Allah. Now, Jesus was a community. Isa ibn Maryam was a community. Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was a community. Ibrahim was a community. We are a community of souls obedient to Allah. That's our common bond. And uh, uh, um, Ibrahim submitted himself to God. He read the creation. And just like uh, we see the work of, uh, uh, of architects uh, in, this, uh, in the beautiful uh, skyline of Charlotte, uh, Prophet Ibrahim saw and understood the work of Allah in his magnificent creation and came to the rational conclusion that although I, uh, I can't see you, Allah, I see your hand. That's your authority. I see your authority in your inexhaustible, magnificent, universal expression. Yes, Prophet Ibrahim represents the thinking, the rational mind, the intellect uh, in submission to Allah's will. Yes, the intellect in submission. That's not an intellect that says I'm better than he. That's not an intellect that says, I'm going to do it my way. But I've got more piled up wealth, more houses. I've got more land. I've got more expensive, expensive cars. Therefore, I'm better than you. That's some people's criteria. No, that's the wrong standard. I'm better than you if I'm better than in my conduct and my devotion to God's word. That's the right concept. Wow. 
Prophet Ibrahim is a son of Adam. And though you male or female, we sons, we, 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 we offspring of Adam. Light. Look, look at the, look at the, 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 the physical S O N, but S U N, a light. We in that light. We reflect that light. Prophet Ibrahim is our father. And uh, we need to stand in his footsteps or assume our human responsibility and cultivate the, the, the earth pleasing to Allah. It says, get you down in the earth. In the earth, you will find your destiny. Well, we in earth, on earth, in the whole creation. Our spirit is, our, our spirit is inside this body. And through struggle, growing, education, we can find our destiny. We have a common destiny. Peace is our destiny. And we don't, it's not a time that we get there. Some of us can get there, got there yesterday. Some of us will get here, there tomorrow. Some of us are here today. And we have to maintain this peace. But that's the destination. On earth as it is, that's what the book said, in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. You can have peace. And, and, and struggling with your problems with peace, that's the optimum here on earth. Now, that's the true reality. And on this occasion of uh, Id al Fitr, we need to sacrifice our greed, our envy. We need to sacrifice our jealousy, gossip, and our backbiting. Well, ma asabikum. Mim Musi Batin Fabi Mer Cassibat Aedicum. Whatever misfortune happens to you is because of the things your hands have wrought. For many of them, and for many of them, he grants forgiveness. Nor can you frustrate anything fleeing through the earth. Nor have you besides Allah anyone to protect or to help. Misguided people are always complaining and against and blaming God for their problems or their situations. They mess up their lives and, uh, and others close to them. So in reality, they're getting punished. We can't escape the card of Allah. The universal principle simply stated, good begets good, and bad begets bad. As the elders would say in, the, in my community growing up, what goes around comes around, and you will reap what you sow. There is punishment for bad deeds, just as there are rewards for good deeds. Oh, Allah. Make Muhammad successful. Amen. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. With God's name, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer. <clears throat> Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Aideen. All praises due to God, the God and the Father, cherish and sustain of all the worlds and all the systems of knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa to Rasulu Kareem. We pray the prayers uh, uh, and the blessings on uh, the noble prophet Muhammad. So although th the times are challenging, if we uh, faithfully preserve and keep our orientation in the direction pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will not only survive, but we will thrive. The Quran is a book for thinking men and thinking women. Reading the Quran as a thinker will get us to the end, the destiny, uh, the balance, the peace. The believer is a thinker that has come to the conclusion of peace. 
We believe in all the prophets of Allah and we make no distinctions among them. God is one. God's physical creation is one. And humanity is one. Hadith says in the end or the conclusion, you will see uh, Esau ibn Maryam, Jesus and Prophet Muhammad وسلم, together in the end. That is, after thinking on it, that, see, when I first heard that before it was explained, I'm thinking, you're going to see them together walking hand, hand in hand? No. After thinking on it, just like our father Ibrahim, you will follow the logic in the knowledge that you take in, and it will lead you to the right conclusion. You'll see this oneness. You see the connection that people are divided about now. Christians fighting Muslims and Muslims fight, uh, I mean, I mean, so-called, because I think Prophet Muhammad would have handled that whole thing in a different way. And I think that's why they have a problem, because they're not thinking on the Quran, they're not thinking in the example of Prophet Muhammad, and they say, I'm going to do it my way. You don't always have to fight fire with fire. You can fire, fight, fight fire with air. You can fight fire with water. And you can fight fire with earth. So we have to think, though. So um, if you follow the logic and the knowledge, and, and it will lead you to the right conclusion, and why, again, do I say this right conclusion? Because... The Muslim never lies. Allah's physical creation is Muslim. And if we think on it, with the best thing that Allah has given us, the human uncle, the human brain, and too many people don't use this. They don't think. They emote. The prophet told the man, don't be angry. He kept telling the man, don't be angry. Don't. You can't think when you're angry. You can't think you, when your, your emotions black, black out the, uh, the thinking process. And then when you use this, 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 great, tool, this great tool that Allah gave us, uh, that Allah gave us as humans, we'll be safe. That's peace. All Hearts and other organs have similar functions. If we think on it, if we study the knowledge Allah put in it, it will educate us and improve our quality of life. That's called the scientific approach. That's what Prophet Ibrahim used. He was actually going through a rational scientific process. Look at this, the moon set, the sun set. Didn't he find, oh, Allah doesn't sit. Allah is the setter. So, and, and he went through all that process in discovering Allah. And we can't see Allah, but what does the saint, the saint say? Act as though you see Allah, you can't see Allah, but Allah sees everything you do. Speaking of science, so we have a worldwide ec epidemic, COVID-19. And this new Delta strain is on the rise. You know, a news report, I was looking at a news report, and it said that 99% of persons hospitalized are those that had not been vaccinated. Now, that's, 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 that's a fact. I mean, that's the data collected. That's a part of that scientific approach we're talking about, that, how we look at things. You know, to you got Arabic numerals, they can add them uh, Roman numerals up. Science brought them, the, the Muslims brought them into, uh, you know, a re Renaissance and brought them into the, uh, to, to, to the modern world. So 99% so of persons hospitalized are those that had not been vaccinated. This is, this is some serious business, folks. 
in the U.S. alone, we have, we have had some uh, 608,000 deaths. Fact. Think. The vaccine is a scientific discovery that can provide greater protection from this deadly virus. I got mine. I suggest you get yours. Don't be like those that, that we see on TV critically affected. And this thing has some critical uh, side effects. So after, after you get the COVID, I, I have a friend who it took him two months to learn how to walk again. I said, I've seen young people that had um, that told me that, look, they had they got COVID and they got brain falls and they, 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 the balance is not right. Some is just, it's, not, it's not like it was before. And some, I have neighbors that they're gone. They gone on to the he after. So these people I see on TV who got it and they didn't get the vaccine, they they uh, have been critically affected, and they're in the hospital begging others to take the vaccine. Or worse, those uh, com uh, uh, commenting on the death of a loved one. Think. For surely thinking shall profit you. It's a matter of life and health. Although times are changing, if uh, we faithfully preserve and keep our orientation in the direction pleasing to Allah, we will not only survive, we will thrive. Remember when Prophet Ibrahim was put into the fire? The fire. Great problems of the day. A lot of us... A lot of people did in the fire. A lot of problems. They don't know how to solve them. I mean, we are, uh, we, we are amongst uh, a, a fiery situation. But what, uh, what, what, what did Allah say uh, to, uh, to the fire Is it in relationship to Ibrahim? Fire, be cool. Don't burn Ibrahim. That's how, it's fire out here. But Allah has mercy on us. We're submitting his will. The fire doesn't burn us. Many in society have hell in their lives because they love the pleasures that punish them. They want to live their opinions, and no matter what Allah says, that's what they're going to do. And they're suffering. But remember, Allah says, there's a healing medicine for what is in the breast. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the Quran has pure medicine for what is ailing in the breast, a prescription for what ails the soul. So we need to put our personal opinions down and pick up God's word and put it in our, and, and, in our hearts and minds and, and we will start having a much better uh, health, not only spiritually, but mentally, morally, and physically. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, you will never have faith until you love each other. Then he said, shall I tell you what will make you love each other? His companion says, yes, Rasulullah. He said, spread peace between yourselves. By the one in whose hands is my soul, you will not enter paradise until you are merciful to others. And then they say, Rasulullah, we are merciful. Then Prophet Muhammad said, it is not only mercy between yourselves, but rather mercy for everyone. The societal problems that we are encountering are a result of the absence of faith. I, I have a garden in my backyard, and, um, and if I don't water my garden, the, the, all the, the beautiful plant life will die. Thus it is with faith in God. If we take faith in God out of our lives, our beautiful life will die. That's why Wathikrila Akbar, thinking on God is the greatest. Remembering God is the greatest. Before we make that decision, remember, think. And we have an example in the life of Prophet Muhammad. Think on the word. Prophet Muhammad was the, word, was, was the book on two legs. He was the word. 
Kalima. So let's keep the faith like Prophet Ibrahim and, and guide our leadership pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, this, this leadership, this nafs and amara, this leadership. Let's submit, bow down. Let's, let's practice our faith by putting it in action in our family and our community life pleasing to Allah. Let's stand in the footsteps of our beloved Prophet Ibrahim and advance society to greater heights. Allah chose us. And Allah didn't give us a mission impossible. Allah doesn't give us aspirations we can't accomplish. We can do this because we are Khalifa in Allah's creation. Let's sacrifice those things that inhibit uh, our connection to Allah's word in our life and like our beloved prophet Ibrahim become Khalil Allah uh, friends of Allah Rabbina atina fa dunya hasanatan fil akhirati hasanatan akina adabna amin ikam salat Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, ashhadu anna Muhammadar Rasulullah, ashhadu anna Muhammadar Rasulullah. Hayya la salah, hayya la salah, hayya la falah, hayya la falah. Kada kama te salah, kada kama te salah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah. Thank you, sir. Allahu Akbar. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alameen. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا سراط المستقيم سراط الذين نعينت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Allahu <laughs> Sammy Allah Liman Hamida Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar Rahmanir Rahim Maliki Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'abudu wa Iyaka Nasta'in 
اهدنا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين كل اعوذ برب الناس مالك الناس اله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر Yo, stand by for announcement, please. Yeah, assalamu alaikum. Uh, immediately following these announcements, we'll be having Janaza Gaib for Brother Saeed Abdul Salam, who returned to Allah earlier this week. Uh, Brother Saeed was formerly the resident imam for Masjid Al Razak in Durham. Uh, we ask that you continue to make uh, dua for all of those who are sick or in need. And please continue to make your zakat and sadaqa payments. You can do that via the website, www.mashid.shaheed, where you'll find links to pay via PinPal or Cash App. Uh, there will be a very important General Assembly meeting tomorrow at 6 on Zoom. Uh, please log in to take part. Uh, brothers class tomorrow following Fajr Salat with Mecca meeting immediately uh, after that. Service meets tomorrow at 11. Tafsir discussion tomorrow at 2 p.m. Uh, on Sunday we'll have the adult beginner Arabic class at 9.30, the adult advanced at 11, and youth Islamic studies class at 11, and middle and high school Islamic studies at uh, 11 also. Talim on Sunday at 12.30. We'll be observing the Eid al on Tuesday, July the 20th. Takbirs for the Eid prayer will be start at 9.30 and the prayer will take place at 10. Following the prayer uh, and the Eid Qutbah, we'll have a brunch here at the Masjid. We'll also have, hang on. We'll also have movie night following the Maghreb prayer here at the Masjid uh, on Friday evening. Uh, I'm sorry, the, on, on Tuesday evening. On Friday, July 23rd, we will, of course, have Juma prayer. Uh, that evening from 6 to 10, we'll have the I Love My Family Festival. Uh, on Saturday, July 24th, from 1 to 4, we'll have fun at Frankie's Fun Park located in Huntersville, California. Uh, North Carolina, see your email for the address. That evening from 7 to 11, we'll have a jazz concert here on the Masjid grounds. Uh, Welcome Home will be distributing Kobani meat throughout the community, including the refugees and low income households. Uh, distribution of Kobani meat will begin on uh, Saturday, July 24th. Uh, please see your email for a link to uh, sign up for that. And on Sunday, July 25th, we'll have a celebration for the 2021 high school and college graduates here at the Masjid. We'll also celebrate the 2020 college graduates that we missed last year. 
Uh, we'll have Talim Sunday at 12.30, Sewer Club Monday at 7, Book Club at two, Thursday at 7, and of course, Juma Prayer next Friday at 1.30. And finally, there'll be a three-on-three -three basketball tournament on July 31st for ages 13 through 17. Uh, see you email for more information. Assalamu alaikum. I, I, I've known him throughout the years, and he passed, uh, I think it was Wednesday, and, and they announced yesterday, and I think it's our, our honor to uh, make uh, Alpha Janine's a prayer on his behalf. Now, for those of you, um, you, know, we, you know that there are no, no um, prostration. Four tack bills, after the first tack bill, you know what's called the thanner or the glorification oil. I won't go through all of it. I think many of us have been through it anyway. And and uh, then we 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 do a fatiha, and after a fatiha, we do what they call dua Ibrahim, or, or the prayer, salat Abraham. Then we say Allahu Akbar, and then we go to give two um, duas. You can do um, what you know, you offer what you know, and um, one is for the living, and one is for those who passed on. And then after that, we do. Another um, takbir, Allahu Akbar. After we do that, you can also say, You can do that. But at, then after that, you turn to the right and say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, and that completes, that is the completion of um, Janazah. So please, uh, if you can, your brother, you can stand in one row or two rows, three rows. The sisters are in the back, so we're not going to pretend like they're not here, so we're going to count that row as well. So if we get two rows of brother, one row of sister, then that'll give us the three rows that we need. Thank you. Sir. The bros in the back, yeah, come on up. We'll create another row. Come on up. Make your intentions to pray on behalf of uh, Brother Sayyid Abdul Salam. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. <coughs> Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Jack, please do your